Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. And we are right outside the Pattison household, guys. We need to go ahead and break the bad news to Mrs. Pattison about the untimely death of her husband. But we got some evidence um, in the crime scene that is definitely leading toward foul play. So let's go here to the uh, front door and see what happens here. Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Oh, so she already knows. Interesting. Nice radio. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Uh-huh. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Oh, yeah, the insurance money. 33 years old. Can we look at both of them? Nope. Well, she has... You think I got nothing better to do? Beat it. She's got a interesting poker face. Hit and run incident. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. That is not the default look. Okay, let's go ahead and check our notebook here. Coroner's report, victim intoxicated, chest wound possibly caused by vehicle hood ornament, bloody knife. We could go ahead and try that out, couldn't we? Let's use our intuition. I hope we don't run out of this anytime soon. Oh, it was a doubt. Okay, never mind. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Nature of argument. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Hmm. That's a different look, but... Witness reports. Overhearing an argument prior to the incident. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and say lie. Don't lie to me. Something was different this time. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. Red Lincoln Con Continental, argument overheard. You married? The arguments are never any different. 
Okay, got that one wrong. Hmm. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Oh, now that's definitely a lie. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? I can this time because you... Or, we found the insurance letter. You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, peanut, all you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. <laughs> well, oh, we can't even search? Okay. Can we go anywhere else? Oh. I take it we don't have a warrant. Hey, to use the telephone. Oh, poker game. Our old friend, the beer I don't bottle. Think so. Hopefully, this isn't getting uh, points removed. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Pattison autopsy. Thanks. Now, I wonder if we're going to get an update on whether it was actually a hood ornament or that knife that we found in the trash can, which I was told was actually a good find. Well, there's no investigation music here. So I don't think... Got a sewing table. And our partner was entering another dimension. Okay, well, well, we'll leave you two lovebirds alone. And I guess we'll uh, head to the coroner's office. <laughs> Brace yourselves, guys. Oh, we forgot the Shelton residence, too. Um. Oh, I don't know. Let's Let's go down the line. Let's go to the Shelton residence first. Of the Lincoln Continental owner. The Alkali Lake is devoid of fish and forms an admirable disposal spot. A thirty five hundred pound. We're gonna have any conversation about what we just saw? Oh. Okay, that house is very close by. Doom 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 doom. Five forty nine AM. Anytime I hear that, or I see them get in the car and drive, that's all I hear is the Peter Gunn music. And what's going on here? Oh. Stakeout. Look at that fashionable bow tie. Oh, blood on the hood. That's the son of a bitch right there. And the bumper. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Sheldon. <laughs> Saw that coming. Oh, is it chase time? That coward thinks he can run from everything. Apprehend William Shelton. Okay, it's driving time. And he wants to go off-road right off the bat. Well, he certainly knows how to evade capture from me, doesn't he? 
Okay, zoom in. Don't run in front of traffic. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. There we go. That's some damage. It's like Ben Hur. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Do you want me to shoot him, partner? No wonder he killed someone driving like this. And don't let that asshole get away. I'm trying. Oh no! Oh, we tried. Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> Just got called a reefer addict. Okay. We need to catch up, catch up. Honk, honk. There, got him. All right, I give up. <laughs> That's it. Cuff him and we're done. We nearly... Give it up, LAPD. Killed him. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it, I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Yowza. And we're here at Union Station, and our car is miraculously uh, unscathed. So, now what? Clues, locations, Central Morgue. Any sentry into the 415 possible mental case at 7th and Flower, unit to handle code 3, identify. Belay that, because we're going to take care of this. And it said possible mental case. So I'm kind of curious what the late 1940s considered a mental case for calls like this. Mental health was not exactly on the uh, pioneering edge around this time. So we'll just zoom, zoom. Easy there. And then once we get into the car, we'll just head back to the station. Oh. <laughs> Almost got hit by another guy. Yeah, see? I'm, I'm at least slowing down at red lights. <laughs> I get credit for trying, right? Straight through the next intersection. Doesn't look like it. Excuse me. I'm going to ignore the partner's directions because what could go wrong? Tell you what, they really did their homework here with all the buildings and everything. Hello there, fellow officer. Just gonna turn on my siren to give them an excuse as to why I'm driving the way I am. To tell you the truth, whenever I do get into one of a car in a game, either two things happen. One, I hear the the Peter Gunn dun 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 dun. Or I hear a voice that says, All right, get ready to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go. And then offspring. Any sentry into the 415 possible mental case at 7th and Flower, unit to handle code 3, identify. All right. Cosmic rays. You're the one who's been sending cosmic rays into my room. Little Negan. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. <laughs> Calm down, sir. You'd like that, wouldn't you? What are we doing? Oh, Lord. Give it up, LAPD. He went that way. Thank you. He's kind of hard to miss. Damn, lunatic! 
Put your hands in the air! And wave them like you just don't care. Okay. Well, take advantage of him while he's... Having a dancing bit. Don't make me chase you. He's making us chase him, Cole. You don't understand. Someone has to stop the Venusians. Venusians, huh? Oh! Holy crap! Hope that suit is well padded. Oh, rest in peace, Cole's hat. Gotta leave it behind. All right. Well. I remember hearing in the comments that I needed to uh, get this one. Farewell, cruel world! Okay. I wonder if we could have caught him beforehand. Yowza. Street crime complete. So, uh, someone let me in know in the comments whether it's possible to uh, do those in a different way. Now, let's go ahead and head to the morgue. And just because we're dealing with this. Can you drive to this one? I think we would have been okay had I not got power bombed off of that drainage pipe. So now we know that when we're chasing someone, we have to give them ground. Because I didn't know if like we kept on doing it, it was just gonna be a longer fall. Mortuary night entrance. Always interesting folks who work here. The women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Well said. How's it going? Uh, apparently we can't hey, talk to you. you. Whoa! Sir! That's a bit of an overreaction. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. <laughs> he was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Well, I said we wanted interesting folks at the coroner, and, and we, we did. For someone who used to uh, work at a convenience store, if I saw someone walk over a floor I just mopped, I kind of had the same reaction in my head, so I understand. Back to the Pattinson res residence. 182 North Hope. Go on. Oh, we gotta hold on. You can drive. To the Y. To send their children. Now, I bet they're probably gonna... Well, I don't know about Lorna, but I bet the other guy will probably try and shoot us. 10.18 a.m. spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. Oh, they're whispering in my ear, telling me how we had to get rid of them, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning. 
how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, shut up. You have all the bases covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake. Whoa. Okay. Should we fire a warning shot? Oh. All right, well. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. Okay, we're gonna go around this direction. Oh, Lord. I got all the cardio in the world, my friend. Are you gonna try and go up a pipe? I got some training. Oh, Lord. Are we gonna make a bargain or what? How long do you think you can hold out? Incapacitate the subject before he... Oh! There we go. Help me! That'll do. Whew. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Shot him in the head and apparently hit a shot in the chest. Okay. I did kind of spam shots there. The controller's a little bit weird to use. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Now let's have a drink. Apparently the bar is going to get a new owner soon. Nine questions correct. Just a little bit of city damage. Another visit to Ray's and you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. Ooh. Alrighty. Got a five star rating though. I'll take it. And we found all the clues, so... Good thing that we checked the garbage bins. A slip of the tongue. Phelps, Bukowski. Beat cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. Okay. Investigate stolen vehicle report. Need a drink. I swear the, the more bad again. cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? <laughs> I don't believe a word of it. I like how sarcastic he is. That's the guy. Alrighty. Well, I guess we will now, just go ahead and travel to the site first. I was first married and... by a judge. Should have asked for a jury. And give that a go. One last time to drive. One for the road. And it is right behind us. So we'll hook you. Whoa. Hey. Slow down. They're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Oh, the Black Dahlia murders. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having your death strewn all over the front page. That's cool that they bring that up. That is a very interesting part of Los Angeles history. Probably part of history they don't really want to revisit. For obvious reasons. Okay, are we... Oh, yeah. I know, we could have gone through the front, but... We did anyway.
like the cello in the background. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Eh? Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, we're going into the next case and straight into a chase. And Lord knows we do so well on those. But um, we did complete the uh, match made in heaven or marriage made in heaven case. So um, we'll go from there. I'm kind of curious what the other option was to see how far he was willing to go to avoid jail. But no worries. Um, I guess we will start the next episode with a uh, nice car chase. If you guys like the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.